Hi, good morning, students. Uh, welcome to RI's Career Fair. So I'm Daryl with um, Scholarship Guide. Um, first and foremost, uh, I hope everyone is keeping themselves safe uh, during this uh, very difficult time. But um, before we proceed on to our, um, our main uh, talk, I just want to share with you guys, uh, if you enjoy uh, attending our webinars, uh, we have another webinar that is coming up uh, in, on the 10th of June. So the details are being flashed uh, on screen right now. Um, is talking about uh, marketing communication. And this time the speaker will be our very own publisher, Mr. David Fay. So for all the students, um, if you have not received the invitation to join this webinar, uh, you can just head on down to our website, which is scholarship.com.sg uh, and look under the notice box for this post where you can actually register for the webinar. So we will send out the invitation uh, for the Zoom link uh, as the date uh, draw closer. So as for today, uh, we are, we'll be having a webinar presentation uh, on professional skills in, to a successful career. So uh, we have Felix with us who will be speaking with you. Uh, for those students who have attended uh, our webinar last year, Felix was also the same uh, presenter. So just to share a little bit more uh, about Felix. Uh, so Felix has more than 30 years of international F&B experience. So his achievements were in F&B operations, franchising, development of systems and strategies, international franchise law, business development, human resource and finance. So some of the notable roles that uh, friends, uh, Felix has uh, has uh, uh, helped before. Uh, he was the COO for Milano Coffee. Uh, he was also the director of franchise business for the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. Uh, and he was the head of franchise development for Pasta Mania Singapore. So uh, without further ado, let's welcome uh, Felix to the webinar. And at the end of the whole um, presentation, we will have a very short uh, Q&A session so you guys, if you have any questions uh, regarding the slides or if any questions, uh, you know, if any interesting question you'll ask Felix. So, uh, you know, feel free to ask Felix at the end. So right now I will uh, invite Felix to come and speak to us. Hello, good morning, uh, students. Uh, uh, welcome uh, to this webinar. Uh, first of all, yes, I'd like to uh, let you guys know, please stay safe uh, in this uh, pandemic situation. Uh, yeah, uh, take care of yourselves. All right. Um, I, well, you guys uh, um, are in school right now, and uh, I believe that uh, in the next coming years, uh, you will be uh, having a, a situation where you will be interviewing for jobs that uh, you might think that uh, it is your career and your career path. Uh, when you apply for this job, basically most employers want to know um, what your past skills are. You, you may not uh, have uh, enough uh, skill sets uh, when you begin uh, but you will have your training in school, you will have your thought processes in school. Um, yeah, and, and what they want to know is how willing uh, you are to learn in the particular industry that you want to go into, right? For that uh, particular uh, job career that you may want to. So today I'll be talking a little bit about uh, what kind of uh, career move um, that you guys as, as uh, uh, upcoming uh, uh, workforce uh, uh, employees uh, that you may want to uh, look into, All right? So um, career development, the next slide would be, you know, it's about identifying your potentials, right? Um, developing them, uh, no matter what circumstances. So it's a process of choosing a career, uh, and then in the process, uh, improving your skills, and then 
advancing along the career path. Uh, basically, it's a, it's a lifelong process of learning, decision making uh, that brings you closer to your ideal job, your ideal skill sets, and your lifestyle. All right? So it's best to do what you love to do, right? So that you can work, you know, towards uh, your, your lifelong dream, doing something that, uh, you know, basically if you're doing something that you don't like for the next 20, 30 years, it's not gonna, it's gonna put a dent in your, in your life. So um, don't worry, you know, it, it's a, everybody goes through this path, right? Believe in yourself, uh, and don't let anything discourage you, all right? Right, so um, uh, career, what is a career, right? Career is a, a person's life course. It's a progress through life. Um, it pertains to your occupational or, or, or whatever involvement you want in um, uh, considering your personal life work, right? Uh, it's, like I said, it's an ongoing process. Uh, it's gaining knowledge along the way. Uh, and very importantly, as you gain knowledge, you improve your skills. And that will help you uh, to establish a more solid career path, right? So now, as you see in the slides, uh, the next slide that goes on, um, it's, it's very general. Uh, do not take it as uh, uh, a negative. Look at it as a positive, um, uh, as positive points moving ahead. Because some of these uh, points may not, uh, um, uh, may not uh, be, be you uh, per se, but it is something that you, you can put in the back of your mind to think, okay, uh, how do I move on from here, all right? So don't take these as negative points. Um, take this as a, an objective, positive uh, points moving ahead, all right? So um, now comparing the students of the yesteryears and the students of to the, the generation today, um, what, what we find in, in studies is that you know, students, this new generation. Now it's, it's in general fact, okay? It's not you, it's not saying that this is you, but usually they don't plan for the future. Uh, usually they follow the crowd. Whoever wants to go into maybe accounting or they want to go into uh, IT or they want to go into engineering, right? Um, uh, they follow the crowd, the crowd um, possibly influenced by others. Um, sometimes, uh, you know, with parents' uh, 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 verdict, right, uh, may not be, okay. Uh, some students get tempted by uh, current trends, uh, or they jump into any career, right, uh, or they lack motivation, or they fail to discover what their life uh, goals are, all right. Or they live in the fantasy world and say, okay, I want to be something, I want to be a millionaire, or I want to be something that, um, you know, it's basically uh, may not be achievable in reality. All right. So we got to rea reality check ourselves uh, along the way. Uh, like I said, these are not negatives, but this is something to think about as we move on into your career path in the future. All right. Very important. We need to plan, be an individual to think about what you want in your career or what path you want to choose rather than following the crowd, okay? So uh, these are some points that uh, uh, think objectively and think positively uh, uh, as you move on into your uh, lifelong dream, okay? All right? So, Again, the current trend for the next slide is, is basically um, you know, focus is lost, um, the effort to increase uh, uh, quantity, quant survival of the fitness, 
less influenced by parents and teachers, you know, increasing dropouts, uh, checking quality in, in you know, um, uh, in, in such things that in the food industry or the clothing industry, a lot of education, increase, increasing in competition as more people uh, graduate uh, and then they move on to a, a more popular uh, career uh, industry, competition is there. So, you know, uh, the barriers of entry becomes higher. Um, and, and basically there is a, a point of aimless uh, uh, process where you don't really think of uh, how you want to achieve, uh, where you want to go. Uh, how you want, what is your intent of intention of where you want to go or what uh, intent you want to choose your career path. Uh, and, and the message you want to put across to say, okay, look, I want to be uh, in this uh, industry or in this career, All right? So these are the things that you can think about, right? Uh, who are responsible for your uh, future, All right? It's, it's yourselves, All right? It's also um, the parents because the parents put in the effort to put you in school, all right? Um, the teachers, the teachers are the educators that uh, guides you and they are your mentors uh, most of the time. Uh, and, and they give, uh, they are there to, to give you guidance. They're there to show you the way, all right? Uh, schools and colleges, all right? Uh, they are responsible to give you a well-rounded uh, educational program, right? And uh, society, you know, the, the places that the, the society that you're in, uh, the people that you mix around with uh, will give, will, are responsible for your career path in the future. The government, uh, you know, that provides you an environment where you can uh, move smoothly uh, into the future, uh, give you a safe environment. Uh, people who have knowledge, you know, uh, you know, you read about people like Steve Jobs, you know, Bill Gates, and, and all these people who who has um, or could be your mentor, could be your trainer in school, all right? Could be um, a very important teacher who who gives of his or her life to teach. Uh, the students, uh, what it is, uh, you know, uh, to give them a path to move on. Uh, people with influence would be a good uh, uh, avenue also who are responsible to giving you an opportunity to move in your, in your next uh, your choice of career. So it's very important to, to understand that it is a totality of, of uh, the lot the whole lot is not just yourself, but your environment, your parents, your teachers, um, your, your, your institution, the society, the government that makes up that whole responsible um, uh, cycle to, to put yourself into a career path that uh, you choose at the end of the day, all right? So you are responsible also most of the time, all right? So um, then what do we do next, okay? Um, what do you want to do for the rest of your life, right? So these are the questions that you have to ask yourself, okay? Um, why select a career, okay? Uh, all of us have been created with a, a, a unique uh, fingerprint, you know? Uh, we, were, we are born only once. We spend almost 40 years, uh, you know, I'm not going to scare you, but yeah, possibly 30, 40 years uh, uh, in your life will be uh, spending uh, working, a total of 80,000 hours. Uh, so now ask yourself how you will spend these 80,000 hours before you retire or before you say yourself, okay, it's time that I, uh, you know, I finish my, my job and uh, time that I retire. So why select a career, all right? So the next slide will show you the decision-making process, right? You first need to discover yourself, all right? When I say discover yourself is um, what are your interests, right? What are your values and what are your skills, 
right? Um, your personality preferences. Uh, what are your strengths? Would be the next uh, important thing that you have to ask yourself. Um, what are the three careers that interest you? So, so, so don't just look into one direction. Give yourself uh, choices, all right? To say, okay, look, maybe three is too much. You can cut down to two. Um, look at the two or three career uh, path that will interest you. Uh, and um, what are the two or three college majors uh, that you want to explore? So it's very important to choose uh, your, your subjects uh, in order to assimilate into your career. Now, this is a normal general uh, career path that people will, will, will appear. If you want to be a journalist, you go into journalism school, right? You want to be a lawyer, you go to law school. Want to be a doctor, you go to medical school, right? So, um, but at the end of the day, um, yes, I also know uh, lawyers who have passed the bar, uh, who, are, who are not lawyers, they're, they're business people, uh, doctors who have, uh, who are not, uh, you know, uh, uh, doctors in, in per se in their career, but they, they become, uh, business people or they can become, you know, ministers or they can become, uh, you know, uh, start up, they start up a new, uh, they become entrepreneurs, right? So it doesn't mean uh, basically, yes, you, you study to be a lawyer, you, 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 should, you must be a lawyer, uh, but that gives you uh, a path at least to move along, right? Um, explore your options, right? Uh, the next slide will say, okay, what are your interests? Um, what, what information or individuals can help you explore your career options, right? What classes or activities uh, can help you develop your strengths? So understand yourself, right? Know your strength, know your weaknesses. Then how, how you can learn more about um, this kind of uh, uh, career and what are the interview uh, questions that uh, interviewers will ask you, you know, um, uh, exploratory internships, um, what kind of, um, you know, organizations uh, to gain first-hand experience that you want to uh, go into. So some of you are already possibly in, in student unions or in uh, uh, council, uh, you're already doing that, and then you know uh, that is good for you, right? Uh, I'm sure you know uh, with with that kind of experiences that you have as a student, you can bring it, you know, to uh, your future uh, career environment, uh, which is very good. So uh, open yourself uh, exploratory, uh, give yourself an opportunity to um, look around and see what uh, you can do as a student right now, uh, but it will lead you to your career path uh, in the future. So yeah, explore the options, okay? Um, making decisions. Uh, how much time and energy are you willing to invest to make a career decision? Uh, who is your support system, right? Uh, to help evaluate your pros and cons. Talk to your parents, very importantly, of course. Uh, talk to your teachers, your lecturers, mentors. Um, yeah, speak with them. I'm sure uh, they will give you uh, a lot of uh, advice uh, in this uh, decision-making process. Uh, and then what are your top priorities to consider for, for this decision? So um, again, yes, it is yourself, your responsibility. Uh, but gain support around you, your parents, your teachers, your peers, uh, you know, when you make a decision. It's important that, uh, yes, uh, these are uh, your guiding uh, uh, stars. And then take action, right? Um, how you can strengthen your readiness for success. Um, what is one goal that you have? And then 
how you can reach it. What action you can take now, all right? Uh, which is your one talent that you can develop through your current class activities, uh, your outside activities, uh, your mingling with your peers, your interaction with your family, your parents, your interaction with your teachers, your lecturers, your mentors, all right? So take action in, in terms of uh, getting all this uh, information uh, at hand. And then this will probably, at the end of the day, strengthen your readiness for success in your career, okay? And then, of course, evaluate your decision, all right? You have to be realistic uh, in your uh, this decision option. Um, is there anything that will prevent you from achieving your goal, all right? What would it mean if you um, didn't have any barriers or if you have barriers, all right? Um, who is your support system that can assist you uh, with achieving your goals? Okay. So uh, the evaluation period and this decision making is very important. As you sit down and you um, understand that, uh, uh, that sometimes uh, you can't uh, do evaluation on your own, um, gain uh, support from your, your support system. Like I said, you know, talk to your parents, talk to your teachers, uh, talk to your mentors. Um, you know, uh, yeah, go into uh, YouTube, listen to professional, uh, successful um, uh, entrepreneurs who have uh, gone through a career path uh, and listen to them. Yes, uh, and then you know, during this evaluation uh, decision process. Now, in the career. Uh, cycle, there are basically two career cycles, right? Uh, in the beginning is your self-belief, right? Uh, and then um, the, 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 the facts that you have to understand that, okay, um, what are the realities of what you, you want in your career, uh, in your career path, all right? And very importantly, your perseverance, uh, in committing yourself into a career path and then the commitment uh, to uh, accept that, okay, this is my commitment to my career path and of course the planning process. Now, these, these are the step to progress, you know, a path that, that makes, uh, you know, to obtain um, what you want uh, in your course of career, in, your, in the job that you want to do. Right in the future, so um, so how do we decide? All right, abilities, aptitude, and interests, plus your personality and motivation will somewhat equal to your career choices in life. Okay, uh, at the end of the day. Okay, so you have to understand your abilities. You have to understand your aptitude uh, and uh, your interest in the career path that you choose, coupled with your personality, uh, which is very important, right? And then how motivated you are you know, to push yourself through uh, your whole career process, right? So at the end of the day, yes, that will be your career choice, okay? The second cycle will be, of course, very importantly, your education, okay? We all go through the same process. You know, we go through primary learning, secondary learning, uh, junior college or institutional uh, learning and then university, right? And then moving on, right? So education is important um, because this, this career life system revolves around uh, not uh, your, yourself, right? Your education, your family, right? At the end of the day, uh, not only uh, your your own your your parents, but uh, ultimately, as you move on in life, uh, you will create and have your own family that gives you the support to move on to your career path in the future as well, right? So you're not going to stay stagnant in your in your career in the beginning, right? You're not going to be an intern all the time. Uh, you will move on, right? You will go up. Uh, the ladder, 
uh, as you go up the ladder, uh, yeah, your family support is very important. And of course, the society. Society changes all the time, right? Like, like now, basically, we're all in the pandemic situation. Everything is in standstill. So uh, some careers are affected. Uh, and I'm so sorry about that. But uh, yeah, it happens, right? Uh, so these kind of things, you know, uh, it's in the, you know we, we don't see it coming. So yeah, but society in, in that sense helps us also because, you know, society gives us support, okay? Um, the government helps us, the teachers uh, uh, or the uh, mentors uh, help us along the way. Uh, yeah, don't lose faith, right? Have, have vision, right, that uh, it's going to get better and uh, your, your career path in the future will move uh, along uh, smoothly. Right? Believe in yourself, right? In, in, in every career uh, upgrade that you, you move along, Always believe in yourself, okay? Um, right? It's, it's, this is education, your family, your society, your vision, uh, believe in yourself. Uh, it's, it's a career life system which everyone goes through, okay? So, very importantly, you know, understand your, your, your course selection, um, uh, better family life, you know, understanding about helping the nation, uh, you know, be, be in Singapore or if you're from another country, uh, in your own country, develop your skills, <clears throat> develop your motivation, motivate yourself, plan intelligently, right? Always improve yourself in reading. I think uh, to me, reading about current affairs, reading about, you know, uh, Self guide, self guide books, um, or you know, novels or, or no, fiction, non fiction is very important. You know? It gives you a, a, a another perspective of insight. You know, um, along the way, take notes that you can use also. Very importantly, right? Um, a lot of people uh, do not take notes uh, along the way because you know they, they somehow put themselves or immerse themselves in their career. They forget. Okay, look. Some things that I can stop and check myself and say, okay, this is where I want to go. Uh, okay, this is where I want to go. Uh, what do I need to do next? All right. So yeah, taking notes is very important. Okay. Um, yeah. So some things that I put in the slides here, like reading skills, you know, uh, is very important because vocabulary is important. Learn the terms. Uh, uh, reading what you love, you know, get a structure of what you love, maybe a career uh, uh, a book, right? Uh, skim the chapters, look through, right? Review, right? Um, uh, yeah, and, and, and move on uh, in terms of your reading skills. Uh, it, it's something that will help you uh, move along the path and read about what you want to, what you may want to do uh, in the future. All right, in read from the various topics, not only just one topic. Okay, um, enlist in in uh, or immerse yourself in uh, give yourself an opportunity to immerse yourself in career interests. Okay, uh, make a checklist of what you want to be. You know, um, you want to be in law enforcement. You want to be. In, uh, uh, a lawyer, you want to be a doctor, uh, you want to be a nurse, you want to be, um, you know, uh, uh, an entrepreneur, all right? Um, yeah, get advice. Um, the next slide will show you, you know, uh, proper planning prevents poor performance, right? Always remember, if you plan to fail, you fail to plan, right? So always um, plan. Right, uh, there is no shortcut to success. Right, it's always hard work. Right, so, um, for example, uh, in the travel and uh, tourism uh, industry, uh, I, I I bring this as just an example. Right, uh, it's, well, it's but not. the travel sectors are very uh, diverse in nature not only composes of where 
the destination is, it's how you get there. So there's the airlines. So when you get there, it's how you get to your destination. So there's the transportation. And when you get to your destination, it's where you are housed. So that's where the um, accommodation comes in. And uh, when you are housed, you will probably need to also feed yourself. So that's where the FMB comes in. And uh, after that, uh, you need to uh, go to see the places surrounding your destination. So that's where the, 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 the travel guide comes in, right? So yeah, it's, uh, uh, it, there's so much uh, career uh, opportunities in the travel and tourism industry. It's not just, you know, oh, travel and tourism, that's it, all right? You could be a pilot uh, or a, a flight attendant. You could be a hoteler, right? You could be a chef. Uh, in, the, in, in the hotel or uh, a uh, director of sales and marketing in the hotel. Uh, you could be a travel guide, you know, uh, bringing people to see um, uh, the, the vast, uh, interesting places in that destination, right? Uh, yeah, so within the travel industry itself, you know, there is uh, so many career paths that you can choose from. So there are a lot of choices that you can make. Uh, yes, uh, in the hotel industry as well. Okay, in the hotel industry, the, uh, again, you know, there is, uh, of course, the operations part of it, uh, the hospitality part of it. Uh, then there is the, the the back end, where is where the housekeeping part of it. Okay, uh, all these are very important. And then there's the FMB part of it as well. Uh, and then there is the engineering side of it, okay? The hotel has the function, right? Uh, you know, rooms have to have electricity, the air conditioning has to be fine, you know, everything has to work perfectly. Uh, along the way, if there's a conference, the conference room needs to be done, if there's a wedding, and the, there's a wedding planner that needs to make sure that everything uh, gets done uh, properly, you know? Again, in the hotel industry, that there is a vast uh, avenue of, of career path that you can choose from. Okay, so again, you know, um, yeah, in, in, in the, the course of work in the tra travel industry, you have agencies, you know, uh, where you can, again, like I said, plan uh, to move on. Okay, so yeah, I'll, uh, the rest of the other, uh, uh, you know, it's just the course work. Uh, what, if, if you're in the travel industry, what, what kind of things that you can, go into you know travel agencies uh, you can be a planner uh, you want to do accommodation you can be a hoteler uh, you know you could be a conference uh, uh, provider so there are a lot of things that you can go into you know get your diploma get your degree in tourism you know get your diploma and degree in hotel management uh, and and get your, your degree in, in, in culinary uh, profession so this is where uh, all this comes in, okay? And, and put yourself in a situation where, yes, uh, give yourself options, give yourself choices. Uh, remember, uh, talk to your mentors, talk to your teachers. You know, my teachers uh, were, were guiding light uh, in, when I was in school, you know? Um, yes, uh, sometimes, you know, it's, it's, they, they are a bit harsh on us, but they give us good insights into what we can plan for our future, you know. Uh, teachers are good resources and, and they are uh, good uh, mentors in, in life, okay. So this is uh, basically what I have in, in terms of putting yourself into uh, where you want uh, as, as you plan your career development for the future. Uh, and uh, this is not a one all and be all. Of course, there are many other things that we can talk about, uh, you know. And, and, uh, this is just uh, the tip of the iceberg. Uh, you guys, uh, this is this is the, the um, uh, end of the talk that I have for you. Um, and what I want to say is, yeah, if you have any questions that you want to ask, please, uh, at this point of time, you can um, uh, type it in or um, 
put it into the chat and I will try to answer your questions uh, as much as possible and uh, as I can. All right. Thank you very much, students and uh, teachers and parents. If you're out there, please stay safe um, if, and be alert. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, um, Felix, for sharing with us uh, all these insights. So as uh, Felix has mentioned, uh, students, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put it into the chat box and uh, I'll serve as the moderator for the Q&A session and I will uh, ask the questions and post them to Felix. So um, probably to get, uh, to get the ball rolling, right? So at job or scholarship interviews, we are often asked if we have any questions. So what should we ask without looking silly? You know, if like the interviewer at the end of the whole thing, they'll ask, do you have any questions about this job or this scholarship? So uh, what do you think that uh, are questions that students should ask or interviewees should ask? Okay. Um... Most importantly, uh, stay composed uh, uh, when an interviewer is, is asking a question uh, like this. Uh, what they want to know basically is, um, they want to know, they want to know how long you're planning to stick around and contributing for the company, right? Uh, right? They want also to know if you're a perfect fit for the position, right? Are you focused in, in moving up uh, uh, the corporate uh, ladder. So remember, uh, don't don't the do, the don'ts. Okay, don't don't um, uh, answer things like, oh, I, I haven't thought of of uh, how far ahead I want to go. All right, um, don't don't say. That. Always provide a picture of where you want to go in the organization. Okay. Um, so that's 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 a no no. So don't don't say oh I haven't thought about it or or yet. All right. Um, things that you might want to say, all right, is like uh, I would like to run my own team in the future. All right. This will give the the interviewer uh, a good impression that you have a realistic expectation of uh, what work is required of you. All right. Um, say things like. I like to prove myself in my current role, all right? So, uh, yes, uh, uh, and and things like I want to earn my way to a promotion. Uh, this this gives the interviewer uh, interviewer uh, the ability to see uh, uh, the the person you are, all right? And um, uh, answering these questions shouldn't be too difficult. Always be honest. Um, always illustrate yourself or your desire to excel, all right? Um, so remember, being recognized uh, takes extra effort, okay? So yes, so remember, you know, uh, be always positive in your, in your um, answers to the questions by the interviewer. Okay, we have a few questions uh, pertaining to the same um, kind of topic. So um, for, for career, right, is it advisable to choose something that uh, the person is good at but don't enjoy as much or, some, or the opposite way, you know, something that you, you really enjoy but you are not very good at? Uh, <laughs> well, um... I, I, my suggestion is uh, you should go into a career that you uh, enjoy uh, doing because with that, uh, it, it will show your passion uh, of where, of, of the kind of work that you will be doing um, uh, with your career, right? Um, yeah. Uh, and I'm sure that if you have put in the passion and the effort, uh, you would 
generally be good at what you're doing. Now, um, going through a career is a lifelong learning process, right? Nobody is good at everything. We, we all learn through uh, what we do. You know, I, I was never good at uh, accounting or finance. Uh, I had to learn it uh, as I go through um, more responsibility as, as a manager in, a, in an organization where I have to look at numbers, I have to look at the, the, the growth uh, um, the revenue of the company, uh, and I have to look at you know, uh, many aspects of uh, uh, what the company has to go through in order to get a certain number of percentage of revenue that the uh, shareholders require. So with that, I had to sit down with the accountants, the finance, financial controller, to understand the financial process of how to achieve and how to attain uh, uh, the results that the company wants or the shareholders require. So it, it's a, it was a learning process for me as well. I wasn't good at it. But at the end of the day, once you see the numbers and once you um, uh, get to practice, uh, then it becomes uh, uh, something interesting that you know, it, it, it's something that you would immerse yourself into. Uh, but very importantly, I think you, you need to understand that you, you need to have passion in what you're doing, right? Without passion in what you're doing, then it will be a difficult task uh, moving up uh, the career uh, ladder. I, I, so yeah, if you, Daryl, if you want to jump in, yes, you can, please. Um, I actually agree with a lot of what you said also, because um, having the passion really allows you to, to drive further and work longer in, in whatever that you're doing. Because um, if it's something that you're not so good at, like a skill set, uh, which can be picked up or which it can be honed or improved, um, that, that can be done at a later stage. But if it's uh, you know, something that uh, you're not very motivated or not very interested in, then I think um, it's very difficult to, to grow that interest, you know, because uh, it, it's something that whether you like it or you don't like it, it's very hard to, to grow it from there. But whereas it's, if it's a skill set, it's something that is easier to uh, attain. So uh, I, I agree with what Felix has said. So uh, it's very important to uh, actually have the passion and the motivation to, to want to do what you want to do in your career. So um, similarly, some students are asking, um, how do you find out uh, what is uh, their own aptitude? Because there are a lot of things that uh, you, know, you learn in school, you might not be able to find out uh, what you're good at. So um, what are some of the tips or tricks you can give to the students on finding out their aptitude? Uh, aptitude. Okay, what is a definition of aptitude? Uh, it's a natural ability to do something, right? Okay. So, uh, for example, children with an aptitude for painting and drawing, right? Um, yeah, so uh, very difficult to say, okay, what kind of attitude that you have? Um, all right, um, uh, it, it's a talent, basically, right? Uh, maybe physical, maybe mental, right? Um, but I, 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 I guess that uh, as you go through your, your education now in, in pre-university and then when you go to tertiary church, church education, um, you will start to develop uh, knowledge, uh, increased knowledge. Uh, you would start to develop uh, understanding, increased understanding, uh, and you will learn to acquire um, abilities, uh, skills, uh, and, and attitude, you know? So, um, so don't, don't, don't badger yourself too much about, you know, uh, uh, this, this kind of uh, 
things like you know whether you have an aptitude or not um, uh, put to immerse yourself into what you you love to do all right uh, and and these these uh, when you immerse yourself you you again like i said you know you, you need to have that passion uh, to learn and when you learn uh, and uh, you put in the hard work the training uh, yes even um, you know uh, untalented people will have eventually will see their aptitude uh, uh, in, in, in some kind of fruition so yeah uh, don't 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 give up all right always have the uh, moving forward uh, understanding that you know never give up never give up uh, situation okay and i think to to add on to this uh, answer um, I believe that a lot of things you you have to uh, give it a try before you know whether it's something that you are good at it or not. So um, probably during the holidays or on the side, uh, maybe some students can choose to take on some uh, internship or some uh, you know part time job. So you know, for example. Um, we, we scholarship guide, we are always looking for uh, people or students who are introduced, uh, interested to contribute articles to our website. So, for example, this is a good way to find out if you are, uh, if you have the flair for writing. So, uh, you know, you can not just ask about, there are a lot of other publishing house that actually accepts uh, uh, contributing articles. So these are different ways you can actually uh, utilize to find out if you have that natural talent or not you know uh, and of course to be to be evaluated and to be judged by uh, a third party so this is uh, one avenue i can see that you know something that uh, you can find out what is your attitude now so we have another question uh, this is quite specific to felix so being in a hr position in many food companies what are the common transferable skills that these companies are looking for I think uh, in general, I guess this applies to not just uh, in, in, in food companies, but I guess uh, basically what, what, what uh, are employers looking for in uh, employees when in, uh, during the hiring process? What are the employers looking for during the hiring process? Uh, well, Putting myself as an interviewer, um, when I'm hiring a person for a particular uh, job scope, um, I I would look at the person's uh, personality, right? Uh, which is very important because uh, your your personal personality uh, would Put yourself uh, would give me an uh, an idea of uh, whether uh, you will be able to uh, fit into that uh, job scope environment. Okay, so yeah, personality is very important uh, for me when I when I interview a person uh, for a particular job function. Yeah, um, yeah, I think that that's what I would. Uh, uh, Look at. What, what, did I? I hope that I answered that question. Yeah. Well, I mean, since we're on the topic of uh, interviews, right? So, uh, what, 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 what are some tips that you can give uh, to people who to to deal with like uh, stage fright? So, for example, if let's say this person has already prepared everything for the interview, you know, all the paperwork is done all the research is done, but there's just this tinge of nervousness hanging around the person. So how, what are some tips you can give to, for people to overcome that? <laughs> breathe during your interview. <laughs> Remember to breathe, right? Um, uh, most importantly, before you go for an interview, prepare yourself, okay? 
um, uh, there are several things that you can do that uh, if, if uh, you get stage fright, you know. Um, uh, I think preparation uh, for me is a, a very important uh, aspect before I go for an interview, right? Um, I always prepare myself. Now, to be very honest with uh, everyone, you know, every interview that I go through, uh, yes, I get nervous uh, uh, during the waiting time uh, to see the interviewer, right? Uh, because you don't know what kind of, what you're going to expect. So the best way is, uh, prior to your interview session, you always prepare yourself, you know, uh, go through as much questions as possible that you think the interviewer will, will, will potentially ask you uh, during your interview and try to you know, rehearse that, you know, in the mirror at home. And that's what I do, right? Uh, before uh, I go for an interview, I would list down a whole host of questions that I think the interviewer will ask me uh, during uh, the session for that particular job scope or that job description that uh, 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 I go for when, when I go for the interview. But on the other hand, you need to also prepare yourself on the personalized questions that uh, potentially the interviewers will ask because as an interviewer, I will want to know, okay, uh, what do you do outside your, your job uh, environment, all right? Um, that will give me an idea as an interviewer to say, okay, look, uh, what kind of uh, um, uh, a person you are uh, when you're not in the office, all right? Uh, and whether that will blend into the kind of job scope or job description that uh, I, I want for you or the person to, to take and embark on that uh, uh, job description, right? Yeah. So yes, you know. So yeah, uh, I I can't really you know tell you okay you won't get stage fright you won't get nervous you know. Um, it, it's normal to get nervous. It's normal to to get a little bit stage fright uh, during an interview because you know it can be interviews can be intimidating, but you know. Prepare yourself uh, and always tell yourself after the interview, I've done my best and I hope for the best. That's it. You know, uh, that's all I can say. Okay, so um, thank you guys for the questions. We have one last question uh, for Felix. Um, for the rest of you guys, who, if you have any further questions you want to ask, you can always uh, drop an email to us. Uh, and we will actually uh, get Felix to, uh, to reply you. So the email to drop it to us is schools with an S at scholarshipguide.sg. So the very last question we have for Felix, right, to wrap up the whole session, right, is uh, in, in your own opinion, right, is it better to start a career in the public or private sector? <laughs> wow, these questions are really tough, huh? Uh, I, you know, I, I can't really steer you uh, into whether you should go into a public sector or the private sector, okay? There are many advantages and disadvantages of, of both private and public sectors. And that can be a whole host of another um, webinar uh, that we can talk about, right? Uh, I can't say that going into the public sector uh, is, is good or bad, or going to a private sector is good or bad. Right. Um, they both, uh, they both have career paths that actually can take many uh, to higher levels uh, uh, and higher planes uh, in 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 their careers. Yeah. Uh, I, in my entire career, I've always been in the um, private sector. All right, uh, but I've known um, uh, people uh, and friends who are have put their entire career in the pub 
public sector. They sign on, right? Um, uh, and, and they love doing um, uh, uh, public sector uh, work. Uh, and, and yes, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm a bit stuck here because uh, I can't really say, okay, public sector is good, uh, uh, public sector is not, or public sector is good, private sector is not. Uh, it is actually an individual part that you can choose from. Uh, because I've never been in the public sector. Right? I've always been in the private sector uh, for private corporations. So I really can't really give you a, a, a good answer in that uh, area. But I think, uh, be it private or public sectors, uh, there are many opportunities and in fact, very good opportunities uh, for career advancements, uh, as you put yourself. The most importantly is, regardless of whether you're going to the private or the public sector, you must love your job. You must love what you do, right? So that's important. Yeah, and one more thing to add on uh, between private and public sector, right? Besides the, the pros and cons for each uh, uh, you know, industry, right? I guess more importantly, you have to find out if the kind of job that you want to do, is it available in the public sector? Because there are certain jobs that uh, don't exist in public sector and vice versa. So <clears throat> it's very, very important for you to find out what do you actually want to do. So for example, if you want to be working in an advertising agency, Unfortunately, I don't think there are many positions like that in the public sector. Most of these are actually in the private sector. So uh, you have to find out what exactly you want to do or, and study for it. And then, you know, that's uh, your career path. So anyway, let's uh, just want to wrap things up with, uh, it's now 12 o'clock. So thank you guys for attending uh, our webinar. Uh, and uh, for, for those who came in late, uh, apologies. I think there's, there's some issues with Zoom uh, not admitting, uh, not allowing us to admit more people, but I think that, that has been uh, resolved. Uh, if you enjoy uh, all these webinar series that we are having, we have one uh, next week, um, on this, uh, one week later, on marketing communications with our own publisher, uh, Mr. David Fay. So if this is something that you want to find out, if you're interested in doing you know, marketing and uh, marketing communication, just uh, sign up for our webinar. Uh, we will have the link uh, emailed to you as well. And if not, you can just head over to our website uh, to, to register for it. Uh, Mr. Mr. David Fay is a really interesting character and I'm very, very sure all these uh, students will have a good time speaking with him. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Felix, uh, for, for presenting to us and uh, thank you all the uh, all the students for taking part in our webinar. So I hope everyone stays safe uh, throughout this period and uh, we hope to see you soon again in our next webinar. Take care and goodbye. Stay safe, people. Take care. Bye-bye.